So what do we do? Well, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Ich meine, beim FIB, beim FBI sollen wir einbrechen. Und wer begibt uns einen Auftrag? Leute, die beim FIB arbeiten. Here we go. That's not it. Ich wollte gerade schon sagen, die berühmte Nummer 3, aber nee. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. So, kommt jetzt der Hausmeister, aber ich bitte mal. Bitte, bitte. Was ist das? Auch nicht. Nope. Tja, manchmal muss man eben auch warten. Wenn es darum geht, jemanden auszukundschaften. Jetzt aber. Komm schon. Das ist er jetzt aber, oder? Fährt so schnell. Ja, das ist er. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. Okay, dann fahre ich lieber vorsichtig. Folge dem Hausmeister. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <lacht> okay. Ich halte mal lieber ein bisschen Abstand zu ihm. Bei diesen äh, Vol äh, Verfolgungsmissionen in GTA muss man immer ein bisschen aufpassen. Teilweise ist es wirklich krass, äh, dass man nicht zu nah ran darf. Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one in between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Okay, der Auftrag ist zumindest schon mal finanziert. Nicht über den anderen Jobs, wo wir erst was ausrauben müssen, um dann fürs FIB Come das on. Geld ausgeben zu dürfen. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate, you know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Okay, wir folgen weiter unauffällig. Aber es ist natürlich auch jede Ampel rot. Ach, Jung, mach die Ampel grün. Ja, geht doch. Und weiter. Und wieder eine rote Ampel. Und da ist sie wieder grün. Und ist er zu Hause oder noch nicht? He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Okay, ich soll hier halten. Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Give him a hello sign. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. 
Only when she needs something. Jesus. Oh. Ich dachte, ich soll dem Hallo sagen. Also erstmal nur hinterher. Folge dem Hausmeister in seine Wohnung. Ja, als ob der die Tür offen lässt. Ah, okay, anscheinend ja. Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Hä? Was war das denn jetzt? Der hat ja gar nicht mal gefragt, was Sache ist oder warum wir das... Ja, pff, gut. So einfach kommt man an die Overalls und die ID. Wenn das so einfach wäre. Successful? Oh yeah. Take me back to the factory. Okay, mach ich. Wie gibt es so Textilfabrik? Bin auf meinem Weg. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is LS based, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts, license to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Okay, da sind wir wieder bei der Textilfabrik. Franklin ist auch schon da. Was ah, hätte ich in sein Auto here. reingekracht? <lacht> Hat keiner gesehen. Begib dich zum Büro. Okay, machen wir doch. Du gehst ja schon so ein bisschen komisch. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking hates. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Das Büro ausmisten. Tja, also das ist auch sowas wie ein... Wie ein Raub finden eben auch diese FIB-Aufträge ja statt. Man muss es planen, man muss es vorbereiten und dann durchziehen. Nur leider kriegt man natürlich kein Geld dafür. Das finde ich sowieso bei dem Spiel so ein bisschen schade. Man kriegt ja für die meisten Aufträge gar kein Geld. Geld gibt man ja nur bei diesen äh, Heists, bei den richtigen Raubüberfällen und sonst gar nicht. Man kennt das ja von früher, dass wirklich für jeden Scheiß. Du fährst mit Ryder zum Friseur und dann kriegst du da Geld für. Oder du fährst mit, fährst mit Smoke nach Hause und dann sagt er hier, kauf dir ein paar Bier und gib dir 500 Dollar. Ähm, dass du wirklich immer für die Mission auch auf, äh, Geld bekommst. Natürlich ist es realistisch, wenn wir fürs FBI, äh, FBI arbeiten oder FIB arbeiten 
Und das nur, um unseren eigenen Arsch zu retten, dass wir dann dafür nicht Geld kriegen. Das ist ja eigentlich realistisch. Trotzdem wäre es halt schön, wenn man immer so ein bisschen was kriegen würde. Dann hat man nicht immer das Gefühl, man macht die Sachen umsonst. Aber man macht sie eben umsonst. Okay. So, wir fahren zu Michael nach Hause. Mann, blöder Taco-Wagen! Oh, Rocco ist tot. Ja, genau. Das sagen sie gerade in den Nachrichten. Natürlich ist Rocco tot. Den habe ich auch umgebracht. <lacht> So, da wären wir zu Hause und hier haben wir für Michael einen Auftrag. Ich speichere mal wieder vorher, man weiß ja nie. Was gibt es denn hier zu Hause zu tun? Alles voller Licht. Familienzusammenführung? Nein, bitte nicht. Nicht die alte wieder. Ich kann ruhig fernbleiben. Erstmal einen trinken. Schlag ihn! Hey. I'm sorry, I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, <laughs> not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I think Mom's at Bean Machine. Begib dich zum Bean Machine, und da ist er wieder da. Der blöde Chisel Dizzle. Nicht, dass der mich wieder auf Drogen setzt. 
So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows. They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah, okay. That'll work. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is too. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy! I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. Uh, Is he alive? Uh, yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Did someone say... Shut up! Uh, I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Okay, jetzt geht's darum, Tracy abzuholen. Begib dich zum Tattoo-Studio und dann sollen wir alle zusammen zu Dr. Friedland, Alter, das kann ja was werden. Das wird teuer. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, here's a mom. I think they're in here. Tattoo! Blazing tattoo. Dann gehen wir doch mal rein. Und sagen mal hallo. You know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa! Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Lass uns Augenbrow zu piercen, ja klar. Zack. Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You fucking ich will noch mehr machen. Nase. Zack. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. 
Ah. Und das Ohr auch noch. Zack. Oh, 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 that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh, oh ja, weiter geht's mit den Nippeln, oh, mein Süßer. What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Let's do... Uh, äh, Brust, just, ja. Just to be clear, I'm not for this, klar. right? Please don't put a gang symbol on me. This is gonna make my man Bitte mach einen Penis enormous. oder sowas. Ich glaube, er macht tatsächlich einen Penis. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah, there we go. Oh. Nice. <lacht> you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can... Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Oh, too nice fast. Oh, oh. ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. Lass nur den Pferdeschwanz. Ja But klar, weg damit. I can't evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Never a family that needs therapy. My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Also, ich finde sein Tattoo <lacht> ist ganz schön süß. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your cellie's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. 